Is rhetoric on social media a problem and a threat to our democracy, Mr. Ward? Yes, absolutely. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Ms. Car Caraballo? Yes. Ms. Numani? Yes. Ms. Tyler? Yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> another question I have, uh, do you believe that rhetoric targeting officials with violence for carrying out their constitutional duties um, is a threat to democracy, Mr. Ward? Mr. Siegel? Yes. 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 <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much. Only a few weeks after the attempted attack on a Supreme Court justice on June 25th, one of the witnesses, Alejandra Caraballo, tweeted out the following in response to a decision on abortion overturning Roe v. Wade. And I'll quote directly from the tweet, the six justices who overturned Roe should never no peace again. It is our civic duty to accost them every time they're in public. They are pariahs. Since women don't have their rights, these justices should never have a peaceful moment in public again. I know something about being accosted. The night of January 5th, I was physically accosted on the streets of DC in Navy Yard by a constituent of mine. I fervently blamed rhetoric rhetoric on social media, rhetoric at public events, for being physically accosted. I carry a gun everywhere I go when I am in my district and I'm at home because I know personally that rhetoric has consequences. I've had my car keyed. I've had my house spray painted. I had someone trespass in my house as recently as August. I've been doxxed on social media about where I live. Um, and I've had to add to security everywhere I go, often because I can't afford it. I have to carry my own firearm wherever I go. And um, Alejandra Caraballo also recently tweeted on November 19th, not even a month ago, that the Supreme Court vested with the judicial power of the United States by our Constitution, stated they are not a legitimate court issuing decisions. And also the Supreme Court is an organ of the far right. So my last question today of Ms. Caraballo, do you stand by these comments, this kind of rhetoric on social media, and do you believe it's a threat to democracy? Thank you, Representative, for the opportunity to clarify and provide context to my tweets. <clears throat> um, and I have a question, questions. is it yes or no? Do you believe your rhetoric is a threat to democracy when you're calling to accost a branch of government, the Supreme Court, I don't believe that's a correct act, uh, characterization what of you my tweeted, statements. Though. Did you not tweet that? That you thought that the Supreme Court justices should be accosted? Did what I'm saying is that, that, that is no? not a Did accurate characterization of my statements. On June 8th of this year, a man was arrested near Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home in Maryland. He told law enforcement officers he wanted to kill a Supreme Court justice. He was found. Um, uh, with uh, a knife, with a pistol, two magazines, ammunition, pepper spray, zip ties, a hammer, crowbar, and duct tape. Ms. Carabayo, on page 12 and 13 of your written testimony, you painted concerned parents as having been infiltrated by white nationalists and far-right militia groups, which played a significant role in school board protests. This has not, this has not actually been my experience with concerned parents. In your testimony, you wrote that in Loudoun County, Virginia, unfounded rumors that spread in local parent groups on Facebook about an alleged trans student sexually assaulting a girl in a bathroom led to a firestorm of, of several heated school board protests that descended into violence. But in fact, the perpetrator, it actually turned out, had committed two sexual assaults at two different Loudoun County Schools in 2021 and was arrested on October 7th, 2021 by the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office. These weren't unfounded rumors, as you suggest. It actually turns out law enforcement had to act because a sexual assault occurred. So given this, I'm assuming that until now you were unaware of, of what happened here and you're gonna update your testimony for the committee. Is that correct? If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.